artist Cardi B is going to need more than a bucket and a mop to clean up her latest scandal. The 28-year-old is facing backlash after posting pictures and videos from her large Thanksgiving gathering. In a tweet, she said, 12 kids and 25 adults over the holidays, it was lit. As the pandemic rages on, critics attacked her for being both insensitive and irresponsible. In a follow-up tweet, she said, sorry, my bad. Wasn't trying to make nobody feel bad. I just had my family in my home for the first time and it felt so good and uplifted me. According to the rapper, everyone was tested and she wasn't trying to offend anyone. Rebel Wilson is looking and feeling better than ever. The 40-year-old actress took to social media over the weekend to announce that she has reached her goal weight for the year with a month to spare. She's now down to about 165 pounds. In an Instagram story, she wrote, even though it's not about a weight number, it's about being healthy, I needed a tangible measurement to have as a goal. Way to go, Rebel. And moving on to someone else celebrating a win this weekend, Westlake native Jake Paul is celebrating his knockout win over former NBA star Nate Robinson. The two squared off in the undercard matchup of the Mike Tyson and Roy Jones fight on Saturday. Paul, who was just 23 years old, made the switch from YouTube star to professional athlete earlier this year. He made quick work of the former NBA dunk champion in front of millions during the second round of the pay-per-view event. With a bruised ego, Robinson took to Instagram and said, It wasn't the outcome that we wanted, but I'm thankful for the opportunity to fight on the biggest stage that there has been. While Nate Robinson may be reconsidering his boxing career, Jake Paul is already in search of his next opponent. He's called out the likes of Conor McGregor, Dylan Dennis, and even his own brother Logan. We'll just have to see who he takes on next. Back to you guys.